Um, yeah, so we did so much. Uh, we made so much progress yesterday. Uh, not yesterday. This uh, past week. So I finished my decade armor. For those of you who weren't here. Uh, we finished my decade armor, my decade cloak, my decade weapon. So we got all this stuff brandy new. And then on Saturday, we finished a strike mission. Um, to get my turtle mount. Oh, which I definitely... I should definitely put my mount on a hotkey, let's say. Alright, so which mounts? There we go. Siege turtle mount. Sky scale. Let me put it here. You will overwrite movement walk. Okay, that's fine. And then what is my jackal? Uh this one? It'll overwrite movement dodge. I think that's okay. Nice. You got to get the radial mount menu add on. You know what? I had it and now it's out of date and I don't feel like figuring out how to get it to go again. Yeah. Because uh, I have I have an MMO mouse with a ton of buttons and I'm used to over the years just hitting the buttons for my different mounts. Now, of course, they keep adding mounts, which has made it harder to have them all on my mouse at once but I think I got it now so yeah Sparkwood you look uh like any touch to you will cause a bad finger cut I like that no touching no touch no touch Tito, you know, that you know things wear out things wear out my ra I had a razor mouse my last razor mouse was years and years and years ago because the same thing happened it, the double it started double clicking all the time now I do nothing but g600s g600 mice are the best yeah Your G600 did it too. I'm on, I'm on my second, I have, I, I think I've bought three Logitech G600 mice. I'm on my second one. I think I have a spare. And my first one never stopped working. It just, I switched because the cable was starting to fray a little bit. I've had nothing but good luck with them. I think it's you, Tito. I think it's you. You're the only common denominator. Tito gets home and he's like, all right, I got my brand new mouse. <laughs> Until it breaks. I think so. It's a good thing we use mice and not chickens to control our games, right? Uh, I don't know. Look at this. We got the same outfit. Oh, oh, it's Wyler. What's going on? We got the same outfit. We got the same outfit. We shop at the same store. Go to my corner box. I am in the corner. I'm always in my corner. All right. So what I was thinking today of doing, because I haven't done it since they added it back in the game. I'm in the wrong spot, aren't I? Yeah. So for many, many years, you uh, would go from my story to Living World Season 2 because Living World Season 1 wasn't replayable. That's because when this season first came out, 
uh, it wasn't designed as a replayable story. And then they changed how their technology worked and how they delivered story and it was incompatible. And just for years and years and years, there was no way to replay it. Well, a couple months ago, they added the ability to start replaying some of Li Living World Season 1. And so some of this content I haven't seen or done in close to 10 years. Yeah. So, there you go. Took me long enough to do what? You're so glad they make it replayable. Yeah, I know. You can replay it now. Yes. Yes, they just they just added this back uh, just a couple pat like a patch or two ago. Yeah, and I don't, I don't think it's everything yet. I think more of it is still forthcoming, right? Yeah, so here we go. Let's go try it. Read the urgent letter. Here we go. There's going to be six. There'll be six chapters total. Okay, so there's two more to be to be released. I think, is it going to be out in September at some point? Probably. All right, to all vigil available for activation. A situation in Wayfarer Hoodville. What? What was that word? A situation in Wayfarer Foothills in Diesa Plateau has come to our attention. The vigil are responding and all active vigil representatives are being deployed. That means you. We've learned about a major military offensive by the Molten Alliance of Flame Legion and Dredge. Vigil forward. Vigil forward scouts have arrived in the area and are leading the response. The invaders have taken innocent Tyrian citizens as prisoners and that is unacceptable. Report at your earliest convenience to Tribune Ritlock Brimstone in the Black Citadel. The city has organized a defense quorum in the Imperator's core. Check in at the core and offer your services to the War Council. We must confront the invasion with a combined effort with as much force as possible from General Almora Soulkeeper. So this is before you, you we know many of the heroes and NPCs that go into the Guild Wars 2 story. This is before we've met Bram. This is before we met Rox, Marjorie Delacroix, uh, all those people. Yeah. So here we go. Let's go to the Black Citadel and meet up with Ritlock Brimstone. Yeah, hoot fills. Is that what I said, Kitsu Bean? I think I said hoot fills. Wait for our hoot fills. Do, 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 do. Yeah, okay. New friends, new enemies. Huh? What? Ah, where? Ha. Huh. I'm like, where did they put me? <laughs> Talk confusing. about that later. I've got a mission for you. You're aware of the refugee situation. Yes, Tribune. I heard the Flame Legion have been mobilizing in Northern Diesa Plateau. You heard right. They're mucking with our assets up there. It's singeing my fur. I need you to secure that hatchery we discussed. You think you can handle that? Yes, Tribune. I'll leave right away. Here's Good. Rocks. Take any support you can find. You're likely to need it. Yes, Tribune. Speak with Ritlock, speak with the Tri Soldier. All right. Sweet. The Molten Alliance is indefensible, attacking a hatchery of baby devourers, disgraceful and cowardly. I heard you speaking with Brimstone. Need support? I could use an extra sword, sure. The hatchery is north of the town of Nolan in Diesa Plateau. I'll meet you there. Bring any friends you want to come to. My name's Rox. What's yours? This is when we meet Rox. Woo-wee! Gunvor Grimhammer. How do I get there? September 13th, Living World, Season 1, Episode 4. Okay. Got it. So the... Okay, so there's going to be two more after that. 
Hey, it's right in time for my birthday. My birthday's the day before that. All right, come over, come over. How do I get there? Head out the northern gate of Black Citadel into Diasa Plateau. That's Nolan. Just go northwest of the town. You'll find the hatchery. You can't miss it. Okay, I'll see you there. Do, 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 do. Good to see you, Commander. Unfortunately, this is a private defense quorum. They'll let you mingle, but Smoter is not taking tips on crisis handling. Oh, yeah? Uh, let's see. Any new information about the, uh, about the situation? Go ahead and chat up the tribunal for the latest intel. The short version, the Flame Legion is up to something. They're working with the Dredge, and we're going to hammer them back down. How do I help? I've got some fresh metal in the fire for the taking real action. Meet me in my office once you've had uh, your fill of the tribunal. I've wasted enough time listening to Smodor bicker. See you there. Okay. Tito, you know, I'm excited overall. Yeah, we can talk more during a pre-show about some stuff. Um, I didn't read any specifics about what they're changing or whatnot. I just, I just know that uh, they're making it backwards compatible with D&D and you know, I've watched a little bit of the stuff, but as to specific changes, I can't comment. Defense quorum in progress. No visitors, no exceptions. Not even for pack commander Gunvor Grimhammer? Sorry, commander. I do have standing orders to let you through. Go on in. All right, there we go. Yay! Hi, guys. Where's the punch? Where's the punch and pie? What's a commander of the pack doing here? I thought you had dragons to fight. A little bird told me there was a battle brewing. That little bird would be correct. It's true. We're planning a war. An extra sword would be welcome. Yes. Thank you. Where there's light, there's shadow. The idea of sending in small platoons makes me nervous. We've already lost so many, especially if they're planning a larger assault. We need to keep our troops together. I'd bet my tail on it. Hmm. Report. Hmm? Mac the Silent. Are you insane? We can't leave the city unprotected. The smart move is to sm send small platoons to deflect their attacks. Torga, what do you think? For Blood Legion. I say we flank them as soon as we can find uh, the find them, that is. What are you, those vigils saying again? Something about holes? Yeah, you talk to the vigil, right? They're all roaring. Sweet. Do, 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 do. You have a question? No, I'm good. All right. Let's go to, down to Ritlock's office. Yeah. Oh, there might be five total? Okay. Yeah, Tito, any... But here's the thing. Any change that they make to how the core D&D works that you uh, dislike as a change from 5th edition, you just house rule it. You just change it. All right, that's so why I guess I do this, right? You leave and then go to Ritlock's office. No free samples. This city of ours is the greatest in the world. The it's talk and the question orders. Well said. New friends, new enemies. Part two. You have to send troops. My friends, Cabram. my home. We're losing everything. People are dying. Who do you think you are barging into my office like this? My people are hunters. They don't know how to fight an army. True, but that doesn't make me your keeper. You're in the wrong place. Go talk to Newt Whitebear. I'm up to my eyeballs and refugees. I'm Air's son. I heard. I thought you would help. Air has no son. Get out of my office. Now. Oh, but she does. Oh, but she does. Kabram! Norn need to take care of their own messes. No. Norn are awesome. I'm so mad I could arg. I can't show my anger. Not here. I need to head back to Holbrex. See if I can convince White Bear to send reinforcements to Cragstead. Don't suppose you'd like to come. I might? Why didn't Brimstone help you? You'll have to talk to him to find out. I'm not asking him to go himself, just send some troops. So be it. I'll speak with Newt, White Bear, and Holbrek. He's a wise man. He'll listen to reason. Why didn't you go to Holbrek first? 
let's just say I have ghosts from my past there that I would try to avoid. My mother, to be specific. It never ends well when she and I are in the same room. I barely know her anyway. I have my own ghosts. I'm Gunvor Gearhammer, by the way. Bram, right? Bram Erson. You've probably heard of my mother. She's a famous hero of the member of Destiny's Edge. Heirs to Galkin? I'm not bragging, mind you. I take after my father. Nice to meet you, Bram. I'll see you in Holbrek. All right, there we go. First time meeting rocks. First time meeting Bram. I'm going to look at the pitcher. The pitcher is full of a strong smelling drink. Stronger than beer. Not as strong as whiskey. As it clearly belongs to Trimium Brimstone, it's best to leave it alone. The polearm has seen a lot of action, but there's a thick layer of dust on it. Examine the weapon more closely. Beneath the dust, there's a small inscription. To the winners of the 1320 Lion's Arch Tournament, Destiny's Edge, last contestant standing, Ritlock Brimstone and Garm the Wolf. Nice. Yeah. Oh, you think you totally missed these? You started playing right before LA went boom, Roswell? Yeah, no, these were some of the, the older, older, older uh, stuff. And and to be fair, when Le Living World Season 1 first came out, there was... So, just a little bit of history. They started um, after... Uh, so, the game came out in August, like 10 years ago yesterday. Um, they had an event in October for um, Halloween, right? That was the first Mad King event. And then in that November, uh, they started the Lost Shores content, which introduced South Sun, and they, they did, like, the Karka event and stuff like that. Uh, in February of the following year is when the first um, uh, Living World uh, season patch came out, Frost and Flame, I think it was called. And at that point, they announced they were going to do new content every two weeks which was just bazonkers crazy, right? New A new patch, like with new stuff every two weeks. And at this point, I was making content uh, for YouTube and also on the uh, Guildcast podcast. So we, it was great for us because we always had new, new stuff to make videos about and new things to talk about. But what happened was a lot of the patches were were pretty pretty darn small with, with uh, just, just some little busy work to do here and there. Like I remember one of the first patches in this two-week cycle was literally to go around um some of the norn starting zones and fix like signs that had fallen down <laughs> so you're literally just looking for fallen down sides and you were just clicking them to fix them like that that was like the main thing on one of the patches but yeah so th this this replay i think is going to hit more of the story beats and such yeah One sec. Um, all right, let's talk to Ritlock. Commander, now that we're out of that stuffy command core, let's talk about DS of Crisis. Um, General Soulkeeper sent me to help. So why did you re reject that Norn's request? Two reasons. First, we've got our hands full. I can't spare a single soldier. Gem jars, thanks for following. Gem jars, thanks for raiding. Holy cow, what's up? It's a Jemmy raid. Hi. Hi, Gem jars. Hey, Huntress Clarice. Hey, Jackaroo, welcome back. How's it going? It's good to see you. So Jim Jarvis was streaming Guild Wars 2 as well. Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate you bringing your community over. My name is Richie, aka Bogotter. We're replaying uh, the Frost and Flame Living World Season 1 stuff for the first time in 10 years. Um, yeah. It's good to see everybody. Welcome on in. And uh, gang, if you were watching my stream, you know what to do. Please click that link. Check out twitch.tv slash gemjars and give them a follow. Please, please, please. It costs you nothing. It just takes two seconds. You can just click their name or if they spam an emote, like you see uh, those animated emotes, something you can just click the emote or click their name and then just follow right from there. You don't even have to leave this channel. Yeah. Oh, Jackaroo uh, recommended? Nice. Yeah, Jackaroo was here last week while we were playing some Go Wars. 
Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, Bjorn says there's a hidden achievement on episode one that you need to, uh, you need to repair three signs for the lulls. That's funny as hell. That's great. That's great. Okay, sorry. 33. 33. Thank you, Bleeding Fish. House of the Dragon is so good. And please don't hurt me again, HBO. I haven't seen those episodes yet. We have to subscribe to HBO Max again to watch. So we're behind. So no spoilers, but thank you for the 33 months. All right, so we're talking to Ritlock Brimstone. We're asking him why he didn't help Bram when Bram was just in his office. And he says, two reasons. First, we've got our hands full. I can't spare a single soldier to the Norn when my owner dying. This molten alliance is burning our assets. And second, he lied to me. What did he lie about? He said he's heirs to Galkin's son. I've known her for years and she'd have mentioned if she had any kids. He underestimated, uh, us to, he underestimated my relationship with her. All right. I don't blame you for being cost, cautious. All right, tell me what you need, Ritlock. All right, I could use all the help I can get. We're spread thin. I've got cooks out scouting the mountains for Flame Legion. How dirty do you want to get your hands, Commander? Whatever you need, tell me. Right now, I need support to that Devoury Hatchery north of Nolan. It's an important asset for the Legions. I already sent one of our Gladia to look at it. Rocks, watch for her. She knows what to do. Where's Nolan? When you leave the command core, head north toward Diesa Gate. You'll pass through some giant statues, and the gate is at the end. It drops you in Nolan. The hatchery is just to the north. All right. I'm off. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Gemjar says, I do hate to raid and dash, but it's 3 a.m. for me. I'm going to go pass out. Oh, no worries at all. When I raid, I have to leave right away as well. I'm usually exhausted. So thank you so much, and have a great uh, rest of your day. Yeah. All right, heads in the Nolan Hatchery. They see me Nolan. They hate and... All right, bye, Jem. Take care. All right, so here's the town of Nolan. Yeah, there's no one in our chat too. Azara, you wants to join me? She's gonna join me. We're going to Nolan, okay? Ah, uh -huh, you're playing your different character too. She's playing on her guardian. I looked at her characters the other day. I'm like, this is the one I think looks the coolest. Look how small you are though. just show up on a giant turtle. Imagine this happened 10 years ago. Everyone would be like, what the hell is that? Let's play a game. Hey, I'll punch you and really? you can punch me. Norn for the win. I agree, Korg. Confer with rocks. Hi, rocks. We're close. I scouted around while waiting for you, and it doesn't look good. I'm seeing signs of dredge. We go fast and silent until Sneaky doesn't cut it anymore. Then we go fast and mean. I like that. That's my kind of stealth. Stealth until they see you, Wait, which is usually a few right. seconds. Be on your guard. Hi, guys. Let's 
Adrenaline surging. That should do it. Let's go. It's almost like we've had 10 years to uh, gear up and practice. Stealth didn't even last until the gate opened. I know. It's good. I like that. Yes, usually there's two arms. By the way, World's Wolf did an awesome job uh, making a Twitch highlight video for us that she released today on our YouTube channel. Make sure you go check out youtube.com slash bogotter today for the latest haha -ha funnies. What build am I using? I am using a uh, a power berserker build. Great axe, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, double axes and great sword. What's that sound? It's piercing. You're having a good day, Huntress? Clarice, that, that makes me happy to hear. What's, uh, is there something special happening? Or just in general feel good? Such might. Stay with me. I like how Azari is actually doing the mission and I'm just uh, killing things. I can take on the world for great justice. My strength increases for great justice. Secure the hatchery area. Sounds like trouble. Break just adrenaline surging. Ah. The giveaway will end tonight. I hope I win. What, what giveaway? What giveaway are you talking about? To the front. Break is mine. That warrior for great justice voice line sounds identical to Bram's voice actor. They're actually yeah. different voice actors, oh. but they're both yeah. on critical role. Oh, for all the DLC? Guild Wars 2, you mean the Guild Wars 2 like giveaway? Ah, oh, nice. Well, I hope you win as well. Let's resurrect these hashlings. No! Let's go! I always admired the fact that they had a uh, Stop me. a ranger NPC in this game that was a char and uh, her pet of choice was like a devourer, a, like kind of a scorpion, right? Because like in a lot of other games, you got the, the, the typical elven ranger with like, Show no mercy. you know, a wolf pet or whatever it happens to be. This is just, it's interesting. You know, bipedal cat person with a scorpion pet. Yes. DT Myers says, I, I've seen this game on Steam. Is it good? It just released on Steam uh, last week. And it is super good. It is super good. It's been 10 years of content in this game now. Perfect MMO to sink your teeth into. They came out of the ground before we could sound the alarm. Dredge and Flame Legion. Your warband? Was stationed here, yeah. Some are dead, but the others barricaded themselves behind the south gate. Here's the key. The invaders were in pursuit. We have to. You're wounded. You stay here and warn away anyone else who comes. You will go. All right. You gotta head to the upper training ground. Yeah. 
are Steam and ArenaNet the same uh, same servers? So Shoot. yes. Go back to your nest. Um, you can't. You cannot use your existing account on Steam. If you make a Steam account, it's a separate, complete account. Um, you do connect Thanks to the sir. same I can't players. Take care of you right now. Um. There's the gate. Let me handle this. They keep talking over me. Sorry. But yeah, you will have a different login method. There are some differences. Like, uh, for example, if you if you if you get it on Steam, any purchases you make have to be through Steam. Oh, for Rust's sake. So you Shoot. have to buy the expansions yes. through Steam. I don't want another pet. Etc. Yeah. This baby devourer will not stop following rocks. It's hilarious. You love how Frostbite keeps trying to follow rocks. Yeah, it's really cute. I forgot that she didn't. Smell they weren't that? friends at this point. Something's not right. That's sulfur, and that means flame legion. They're near. Stay close. Hey, smoking Charius, what's up? Yes, Frostbite is the real MVP. Uh, yeah. Let's go. For great justice. Do, 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 do. Ready. Uh. Bam. Refreshing. My strength increases. That'll do. Even the gem store kits are being so it's a little confusing, but like. <laughs> You have to buy the gems through Steam. Like you can't get a gem code. Like the gem codes I give away for being an ArenaNet partner cannot be used on the Steam client. Also, if you go to like a Target or a Best Buy and you pick up one of those, you know, gem codes from the store, like a gift card, that won't work on the Steam client. That will only work, uh, you know, through going to your account and redeeming the code here, right? Funny enough, though, item codes do work on Steam or or the Arena Net Launcher. Either way, I don't think yeah. so. I've seen things scarier than you come out of my pet. Uh oh, Marat. For great justice. I'll bury you. Adrenaline surging. For great justice. Ha! Huh. Extra damage. Kitsubin says that should also advertise you can join more than one gold. You want so many MMOs to do that? Yeah, that's true. You can have yeah, have up to five different guilds, right? We're too late. Look, tread marks, footprints. They took some of the workers away, alive. I have to secure the hatchery, but then I'm going to track them down. When I find out where they took the prisoners, I'll contact you. All right, here we go. Come on, bud. Let's get you something to eat. <laughs> Korg has a good point. Uh, Arena needs to advertise more that the game has no sub fee. Down. It's very true. Um, that that pack that they have on Steam is awesome. And they're going to eventually have that outside of Steam as well, where it's all the expansions and all the living world uh, episodes. Some people might look at that and go, oh my God, it's $100. They want $100 for this, but they don't realize it's literally 10 years of this game's content and there's no subscription fee. So you 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 drop the hundred bucks and you're you're all caught up in terms of, you can play all the content for the, the you know, that they offered for the last 10 years. Um, they'll eventually have that for folks not on Steam too. So if you missed out on uh, getting that deal and you're, you're playing um, through the arena at launcher, they said that that's coming, yeah. Oh, oh my god, I remember I remember this refugee child's drawing. Everyone made fun of this item back in the day, right? Such a nice prize. Because here you get this refugee child drawing. You can see it's like a little picture like that you color it and what, what do you do? You double click to consume, consume it to gain karma. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just ate it for 5,000 karma. Sweet. Oh, I remember that item. That was great. <laughs>